Anyways, there's a lot of excitement happening here uh, for our very first. Is that your lobby? Uh, that's the movie theater lobby. That's part of the blue man and the bar there. It's a very long coach. We should go sit there and have a cheese plate and some wine later. Yeah. On that nice couch? Yes, that's what we're doing. And then we don't even have to go outside. We can stumble up on the elevator up to my condo. Yeah. That's how I seduce all the ladies. I've never been on that couch, actually. Really? I've never been with a woman, actually. But uh, I did have one woman stay with me for a little bit. She's a psychologist, and she's like, you want to come down? And... Kate? No, it wasn't Kate. Kate's a fake psychologist. This woman's like a legit psychologist. She invited me to a movie with another psychologist woman she was going with. And then so I said, okay, and, you know, two women. She's like, oh, this is exciting. They're doctors. They're smart. So I go to them. We sit in the movie, and then the people in the movie start singing, and she's like, what is this? And it was the new movie with... Um, the chick from Pitch Perfect, uh, Anna, Kendrick? Anna Kendrick, but it was called... Pitch Perfect 2? No, no, it was another movie, it's like a musical about her and this Jewish guy she meets, oh. and then he, he's always wanted to meet the chicks of his dreams, I and heard it's a movie based on a musical, it's called uh, The Last Five Years. Oh. Anyway, so the movie starts, and singing, and the psychologist woman is, uh, what's her name? Uh, is it Donna or something? Let's uh, say it's Donna. Let's say, let's call her Donna. And uh, she's like, oh, I hate musicals, I hate musicals. And then she walks out, but I'm like, I'm she already... She walked out? She's like, let's go, and took her friend with me. And I'm like, well, what took her friend with her? They need a psychologist. Yeah, they need psychologists. And I was like, well, I've already paid, so I feel like I should be here, even though I hate musicals, it too. It was this theater? It was this theater. So you didn't have to leave, because you lived there. You didn't need a ride home or anything. No. I, so I wasn't going to... So anyways, my point is that... I stayed for the whole movie and then I met them here on the couch and they had already gone through some wine and they were both cheese plates. And I ordered, I think they. It wasn't great. It was very, I mean, it probably would have been. Did you miss out on the wine and cheese plate? I had a bit of wine later and I got my own cheese plate. So I felt, but then nothing happened. There was no threesome. Donna or whoever just probably. Were they attractive? Yeah, like I think they're both about 50 and so, uh, but they have good bodies and, and, and one of them. Has a, has a maybe a, her daughter's like 12 or something and showed me pictures and she wants to be an actress and yeah I, I, in my head it could have been like this whole cougar threesome PhDs and you picture the doctors would be put in bed I don't know why uh, that they know about the body but they're psychologists so maybe they could do sex things to my mind I'm not sure exactly what I was thinking I don't know I think maybe you left out that it didn't happen probably it's probably a fine thing that I escaped that whole thing um but uh, yeah, nothing happened, but I did have some cheese. Anyway, that's the only time I was sitting on that couch, is my point. Um, so maybe we should try it, and, and, uh, and it would be a better situation than, than before with the doctors. Yeah. All right, so that's the plan, and uh, now we're waiting for our food, so we'll see what happens. Bye.